Welcome back everyone. In this video, I will discuss about multi-block listener and multi-repository provider. The functionality of block listener and repository provider I have already discussed. Now let's see what is the use of multi-block listener. Multi-block listener is a widget which is provided by the Flutter block library. It merges multiple block listener widget into one and hence it improves the readability of the code. Now suppose in a Flutter block project we need multiple block listeners. Then there are two ways to use that. Either we can nest multiple block listener or we can use multi block listener widget. Now if we nest multi block listen, multiple block listeners then this will be the code as written in the left hand side of this slide. You can see this first block listener is taking the block A and its corresponding block A state. And as a child of that block listener, again block listener has been used which takes block B and the block B state and its corresponding listener. Again as a child of that block listener, again a block listener has been used with block C and block C state and this decreases the readability of the code. Now the same code can be improved by using multi block listener as you can see in the right hand side of the slide. Now this multi block listener takes a listener argument which takes a list and in the list we can use multiple block listeners. The first block listener is taking block A, block A state, second block listener is taking the block B, block B state and so on and this improves the readability of the code. Next we have multi repository provider. Again it is a widget provided by the Flutter block library. It merges multiple repository provider widget into one and hence it improves the readability of the code. In the left hand side you can see that repository provider is be, has been used which is providing the repository A and as a child again a repository provider has been used which is providing the repository B and again a repository provider has been used which is providing the repository C. This means multiple repository providers are nested with each other and this, this decreases the readability of the code. To solve that we use multi repository provider widget which takes the providers as argument which takes a list and inside that list we can pass multiple repository provider. As you can see here repository provider for repository A repository provider which is provider uh, which is providing the repository B and so on and hence it improves the readability of the code. That's it for multi block listener and multi repository provider. Okay. Thank you so much for watching.